So I get away from Brooklyn and I'm in my apartment in uh in Manhattan. And I'm like, oh, gotta move from Manhattan where I'm going next. Right. Dog, I get picked up by the Knicks. <laughs> I'm going down the street. <laughs> you just going down the street. You, you just crossing I mean, over the bridge. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going over the bridge, bro. I'm not, not even the bro. I was already in Manhattan. So I'm literally oh, yeah. I'm just going down the street. But I stayed in, I stayed in uh I forgot what the place called. It don't matter no more. But <laughs> we they they the practice facility in the outskirts of New York. But um go to the Knicks, bro. Once again. They were sorry. The Knicks? Yeah, they were sorry. They weak. I'm gonna get my shot at some point. <laughs> at some point, I'm gonna get my shot. But I just played the Knicks. Right. We whoop, we we beaten the Knicks. Actually, they probably be, I, they beat us a couple times that year, my second year. <laughs> they beat us a couple <laughs> times our second year, but they weak, bro. They ain't make the right. playoffs. They wasn't making nothing. So I'm you like, right, I'm gonna get at least a moment. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. All I need is a shot, bro. That's right. all I need is a shot. And next thing you know, I get there, bro. We start hooping. Yeah, we was cooking, bro. Like the city going crazy. And I tell you right now, them New York fans, they love them some basketball, bro. Oh, yeah. They still, they they still really rock do. with me to this day, bro. To this day, they still rock with me. I still rock That's with them. That's the value bro. that we talking about, though, that you bring. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, bro. Dog, they, they just love the passion and they love how I cared. Even though I wasn't getting the time, I was still invested fully just as much as the, them dudes on the court. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Dog, we start cooking, bro. Like, I remember we went on this winning streak. It was like 10 games, and the city was buzzing. Like, buzzing. And there's no experience that I had crazier than I had uh, game one against the Hawks in Madison Square Garden in the playoffs, bro. It was bananas. It was crazy. Like, I, I, I I, I can't put into words how crazy that game was. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm blessed to be in this opportunity. And the Knicks ain't been in the playoffs since like what, 2014 before that. Yeah, so it's, it's, been, a it's been a minute. So, and I'm just sitting there like, bro, I'm blessed to be in this opportunity, like to get this opportunity. I'm like, oh, we got a good team. We got something going here. And right. I got a good feeling that they're going to bring me back. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Everybody on the team wanted me back. Right. Everybody. Coaches. We not going to get that deep into it, but. Right, 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 right. Not everybody wanted me back, but most people. I was at 95% wanted me back, but, you know, that 5%. That 5% was a strong five. Hey, (laughs) happened to the best of us. And the thing was, bro, it's just like, I guess it's not, not meant for me to be here. Right. But I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That one hurt though. That one hurt just because I'm like, we building something. Like we literally built a good, like something. They were excited. Like the city was excited right. about. The city, yeah. And we they brought back new players. And nothing was wrong with the players they brought. Like yeah, Kimba nice, Evan right. Fournier good. Like a lot of good players. They brought some players back. But like the. I think they knew like what the core was. Like they kept a lot of it together. I'm not yeah. trying to give myself a lot of credit, but I feel like I was a very important piece to that. You know what to I'm saying? To the whole team chemistry and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And that and that goes a long way. So 